Well, good morning, my peoples. We are back at the noob stead here. And I wanted to do a garden update. I haven't done one in a while because we've just been busy with life, I guess you would say. Sorry for the brightness there. It's an early morning, it's the 6th, so it's been roughly four weeks or eight weeks, two months, almost to the day since we uh, got our onions. Okay, there's our first initial onions, small white and yellows. I know it's hard to see. We, we had a bunch of rain this week. I put some fresh hay down. To, uh, it kind of keeps the uh, grass at bay and uh, helps with the moisture retention. So they're going and then we've got our uh, snow peas here I'm not really expecting a lot out of these guys because I think we kind of got them in late but I've already picked my first couple of peas off of there so it's actually starting to produce also very little right now the tomatoes These are these are eight week old. A couple of the bigger ones down there probably are close to ten weeks. Um, but even these small ones, most of these are uh, indeterminate uh, varieties. And my wife got a, a lot of the big Bertha tomatoes. I can't, and uh, they're really. They're really starting to uh, put out a lot. So you ever ever plant is producing. You can see them in there. We've already pulled some red ones off. Most of the red ones have been from the uh, small vining tomatoes down here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We just got a few plants of those. So we. Uh, our string trailer seems to be working fine. It keeps these these guys up in the air. You see how they uh, these guys just grow in bunches. Those are our little cherry type tomatoes. See, there's a nice big group of them out there. So we are very uh, happy to see that. <coughs> Sorry, I got to sneeze again. Got some. Um, Butternut squashes here at the end. We'll screw up the fence. And these are our asparagus beans. And they're starting to come up and bloom. These things will get huge, supposedly. Some of the ones here at the end are still small. And we got our pinto beans here. Lima beans down there even a few black eyed peas and a few black beans there in the center, center one and uh, as you see I put a makeshift trellis there because I was tired one day so now I've got to uh, I've got to put some strings up to the uh, conduit there so they're growing up and you can see them down there there are lima beans down there are starting to Get some height to them. There's some uh, yellow squash. That's that. That was our second batch to put in, so uh, it's kind of small. Our pepper row bells and uh, bells and sweet peppers and jalapenos. Ala jalapenos. One of the small jalapeno bushes down here are already making peppers. So that's a good thing. Then we got blooms down there on the ends down there. Uh, this is more yellow squash. That is the yellow squash is making lots of blooms. I haven't had a fruit on it yet. 
The zucchini is already making and has a lot of fruit on it. We've already picked two that were big enough just a few days ago. And as you see, they're planted probably a little too tight because this, this is zucchini row here. That's more zucchini there. And then right here is spaghetti squash. Um, that third row. And these are red onions that are they're doing great. They're just getting huge. And I've already got spaghetti squash. Already got spaghetti squash on these plant on some of these plants growing. You see I've got the hay out here. And uh see that one? That one's probably about six inches long already. There's another one up in there. There's some. Uh, that's the way they do. They get a bloom, and then if it get if it gets uh, if it gets pollinated correctly, then uh, it'll the food will start getting bigger. And if it doesn't get pollinated correctly, it'll just drop off, fall off. So at least this one I've got going up the fence. These are going a little wild in here. And there's three watermelon plants right there at the end. This is acorn squash, which is uh, getting really huge. It's got monster leaves on it. I've never grown acorn squash before. I've never grown uh, butternut squash either. We have grown spaghetti squash, and it generally does fairly decent out here. At least it did in our raised garden. This is a little bit different. Anyway, there's some more various squash in here. I can't remember what my wife planted on this little offset row here. And those are potatoes. Those are all new potatoes that we put in the ground. And uh, the russets, we only got two plants come up now I replanted them in there so they may come up later but as of right now there's nothing really going on with them uh, I think there might have been too much inhibitor on them uh, you know eye inhibitor that they stick that they put on them when they go to the grocery store and corn we got about I don't know there's like 36 plants there not ever about half of what we planted came up I don't know how well it's going to do. I'm like, I got to get in here and weed today. That's that thing we couldn't because it was so wet. But there are cucumber plants up against that fence growing up, and we've already got a couple of cucumbers. And there's a couple of water, water plants back there in the back. Sorry, that looks so bad. It won't by the end of the day. And uh, we didn't have enough space in the garden for all the plants we had going, so. We put some more, uh, this is cucumbers, uh, not, not cucumbers, excuse me. These are cantaloupes, I hope. There was some confusion on our planting. Some of our sticks fell over and we kind of forgot what it was. And I, for the life of me, can't remember what cantaloupe leaf looks like. I know it's a easiest looking on the internet but I just haven't done it and there's some giant sunflowers and they're going in between those and you can't see the plant too good it's just barely sticking out my granddaughter had those so we put a few out here to see if they will grow up and attract some pollinators those bush over there we keep chopping it down and it keeps coming back this year we just let it let it go a little bit boy it's got some really nice crimson roses on it though that is a pokey pokey bush. It will get you. So there you go. That's my update on the garden. Hopefully we will be getting a, a lot of produce off of it in the near future. When you take a look at it, compare it to what yours doing, what it, yours is doing. Uh, leave leave uh, leave some comments below. Let me know what your gardens look like.
some pictures would be nice too and I'll post them along and comment on them later see if ours is stacking up with uh, others other people's in our area we're in zone 8 or 8.5 8.5 8 or 8.5 East Texas so we're ahead of some of you that are farther up north so give us a like keep watching our channel subscribe to us and we will see you in it on the next video this is a noob I'm out